Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Rachel, and today in this video, I'm going to be talking about my Indian head penny. This is my Indian head penny from 1900. So, that makes this penny 118 years old. And the Indian head pennies were created, well, I guess you would call it minted. The Indian head pennies were minted in 1815, blah, blah, 1859 to 1909 and the value of this 1900 penny it's probably only worth about between one to seven dollars see that scratch right by the chin if that scratch wasn't there and if it was in perfect condition it might be worth about sixty dollars Possibly more than that, depending on how much money a collector would be willing to pay for it. But, let's see. About 66,830,000 of those pennies were created. But, over time, many of them have probably either been melted down or destroyed. So, I'm not really for sure exactly how many there are now. Let's see if we can get a better look at it. Let me know in the comments below what type of condition you think it's in. It's definitely a little bit better than good but it's not uncirculated it's not very fine it's kind of like a mix maybe like a mix between fine and good like in the middle I think that's about as close as I can get see how you can see some of the detail in the feathers it's not completely worn, but you can tell that it is worn. I'm going to flip it over. See, in the detail on the back, that's not too bad. Like, that's not too shabby. It's got a little bit of worn, wornness, but not a whole lot. Not like all the way.
let me know in the comments below how much do you think it's worth? One dollar? Or... Probably not sixty dollars. Or thirty. Maybe. How much would you pay for it? You're probably like, I wouldn't pay shit for that. But hey, maybe it's worth something, right? That'd be so cool, right? Yeah. Like, that'd be super cool. I need to get some more cool coins. I so need to collect some coins. For Rizzle. My Nizzle. <laughs> oh, yeah. But let me go find out what it's made out of. I think it's, like, made out of tin. And I think the older ones, uh, before 1900, I think they had more copper in them. But copper was becoming more, either more expensive or more rare. I can't remember. But the copper ones were costing more, I think. So it was more tin. Let me go look. I'll be right back. So as you can see right now, I really have to pee. My phone is at 1%. It's 2 a.m. And I'm going to try to read some of this really quick. My phone's probably going to die any second now. So I'll have to probably come back and remake this video later on or whatever. Or, you know, whatever. The entire Indian head penny was designed by U.S. Mint engraver James B. B. Longacre. Sorry, I don't know how to pronounce that. In 1859, and was produced later that year. The obverse of the coin features a bust of a Native American wearing a traditional headdress. Below the bust is the date, and around the edges is the motto, motto United States of America. Long Recre used a wreath with a bundle of arrows at the bottom as the main design for the reverse. A shield can be found above the wreath with the denomination one cent found directly below. Consumers found this design to be simple but pleasing. An interesting fact about the Indian head penny was that in 1860 the mint switched from the regular bronze alloy to a copper nickel alloy. The mint used this copper nickel alloy up until 1864 when the mint returned to a bronze alloy. This was the only time in its 50 year production that the Indian head penny had a composition change. I think this is on um, fuck what is this website called? Treasure Hunter or something? <laughs> what is the fucking name? TreasurePursuits.com Come on, hair, get over there. No. Okay. As the date suggests, the 1900 Indian head penny was the first type of penny to be minted in the 20th century. A relatively large amount was minted in 1990, with the U.S. Mint reporting that 66. 66,831,532 examples were produced. In the following years, Indian head pennies would be produced in much larger quantities, and as many as 108 million would be minted in 1907. Like all other Indian head pennies minted from 1964 to 1909, the 1900 in Indian head penny weighs 3.11 grams and is 19. Five millimeters in diameter. Denticles. <laughs> Small dots found on the surface of the coin near the rim are represent, and no reading can be found on the edges. My the quality of my penny is way better than that one right there. Indian head pennies minted from 1880 until 1907 can be found in good condition. I cannot believe my phone is not dying. It's probably about to die. For $2 or, or less a piece. Any coins before 1880 tend to be higher in price with most examples retailing for about $5. There are some semi-key and key dates in the series that cost much more to acquire. Filters for these keys dates can be had for a fraction of the cost. Blah, 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 blah. Blah, 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 blah. Blah, 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 blah. Blah. 
blah, 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 blah. Blah, 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 blah. Well, I don't have time to... Well, I mean, I did kind of read all that, but I mean... That's good, right? That's good enough. <laughs> I gotta go to bed, and my hair is lame. But I gotta get up soon, and I gotta hurry up. I got one person. Oh my god, holy shit. I gotta get off here. You guys have a wonderful day, and... Give this video a like and please subscribe because now you know we got to have a thousand subscribers to keep making money. And that's a bullshit. That's a bullshit. So please definitely subscribe. And let me know in the comments, how much would you pay for this penny? Oh, I already asked you that. I am so slow. But bye.